This video will show you how to reference the next item in a repeating item, or a list, using the word add-in. This feature is most used for estate planning documents. For example, let's say you have a repeating item called children, and that's set up inside of your questionnaire. Now let's flip over to the document. In your document, what you want to do is you want to list that you hereby appoint child one, and then you want to say, if child one is not available, you appoint child two. If child two is not available, then you appoint child three, and so on. And you want that to continue for as many children as there are. That provides a contingency plan for any situation where any of those children is not available. This is most commonly done with trustees and executors in state planning documents. So what we'll do is we're gonna set this up to automatically occur whenever we enter items into a repeating item by going to the word add-in, choosing repeating item. We're gonna choose children since that's our variable, our item name. Then as you may know from other videos, you have lots of options as to how you display your repeating items. In this case, we're gonna use the specialized refer to next item option. You can also choose the available values that you want listed. So let's start with just using the child's name. What I'll do is I'll put my cursor right here in my document and I will just click insert field. So as you can see, there's already a little bit of text here saying if not child name, then next child name. All you need to do is change this text within the quotes to match exactly what you want it to say. So I would change this to if child name is not available, then I appoint next child name. Now, let's say you wanted to add other values to this phrase. Let me show you how to do that. I'll just delete this and I'll add the date of birth and I'll click here and click insert field. So maybe I want to say if child one, who is born on child DOB, child one DOB is not available, I appoint child two, who is born on child two DOB. So this allows you to add other variables and we would also add that into the other ones. So. The way that we're going to do that is we'll do the same exact thing. We've already chosen the available values. They're already inside of this phrase. So all we need to do is modify this sentence to match the way that we want it to show up in our document. So I'll say if child name, comma, who is born on child DOB is not available, then then I appoint the next child's name who is born on the next child's DOB. And you may also want to add a little period at the end of this if you're always going to have a period at the end of each phrase. And that's it.